Hey guys, it's Katie here and I am back with another video. Sorry it's been so long since I have filmed. I miss you guys. Um, a lot of y'all been asking me if I quit YouTube. No, I did not quit YouTube, guys. I promise y'all the day I quit YouTube, I will let you guys know. But no, I did not quit YouTube. I love all my subscribers and I would not do that to you guys. And um, I do love filming, okay? It's just been different things going on that I have not been able to film. One, I did lose my charger. And second, my camera was in my kid's room and I couldn't find it for like three days. So when I found the charger, I couldn't find my camera anyways. So yeah, so um, what today is from the title of this video, I am doing a makeup tutorial for beginners, okay? So um, basically this video is for um, three people out there and you know who you are and um, I just wanted to they just gave me a good idea like what to film because I was stuck thinking what do I film next what do I film next I can't vlog because I have nothing going on in my life just um, do you know just home with the kids so um, yeah my uh, my sister and my sister-in-law and them they're so into makeup as well and I just want to do um, a makeup tutorial for beginners so that way they can get more into it and know step by step how to do their makeup so all right let's get on with the video okay guys so my first step this is optional but this is my first step and I will be showing y'all everything that I do if you don't like what I do I'm sorry do it all your way everybody has their own ways of doing their makeup step by step okay this is just how I do it and if you don't like it or you don't like me do not continue watching this video okay so first I do start off with a makeup wipe and I just go in and I just clean up all my makeup leftover makeup even though it should have been off already from the night and um, yes I do not have makeup on but I do want to go in and extra clean it before I do apply another layer of makeup so that's what I do and um, the makeup wipes do have some good products in there that um, help your face. So once you do this, do not wipe it off with the water, do not wipe it off with the towel. You do want all the stuff from the makeup wipe still on your face. And if you're wondering what is that shiny stuff on my lips, that is hydrating chapstick because I do have dry lips and I did win that in a giveaway. Okay, so once that is all done, make sure it dries completely. Next, I will be going in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And this one is new. I just picked this up at the store and I love it. So yes, I am going to apply that. And I am um, always dry, so that's why I do use the hydrating primer. Y'all use any kind of primer y'all like. My face is um, dry, and I do peel a lot on my face, especially right here and right here. But um, if you have oily skin, I do not really recommend this. Um, if you have oily skin, you can use another primer. They have primers for all types of um, skin so you just need to find the one that fits you so yeah I love the way this one works with me because like I said my face is dry and this one really moistens up my face and helps out with the makeup so it doesn't look real cakey and um, real chalky around these areas right here and right here okay so once you put that all on your face let that sit and next what I go in is with another primer and this one is the pore professional I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys use this this is the good stuff so yeah I'm just gonna apply some of this and again I'm just gonna rub that all into my face Alright guys, I do have to use this mirror. And I'm using natural lighting guys, so I'm sorry if the camera keeps going off and on, focusing on my face. Okay. 
I did. Now my face feels a really nice and oily. It's not dry at all. Um, when you do have an oily face, there is products for you that make your face not so oily. I never had an oily face, so um, I wouldn't know if it is a good thing or not because a lot of people do say my face is too oily for that foundation or my face is too oily for that primer and um, concealer and whatnot. So I don't know if you have an oily face. I don't know what products are good for that or not. So I'm sorry, but you could look that up. Okay, um, instead of me doing my foundation next, what I do is do my eyebrows because... Um, I feel like once I mess up, it's going to mess up my foundation as well. And all that work would just be totally for nothing. Same with the eyeshadow, guys. You do want to put your eyeshadow on before you put on your foundation and concealer and contour and highlight and all that stuff. Because if you have fallout on your eyeshadow, it's going to make a mess. And then you're not going to be able to clean it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with my eyebrows. And a lot of you do your own way at, at your eyebrows so um you do not have to follow me on this one but um, i'm just gonna go ahead and show you anyways because a lot of y'all have been asking me too about my eyebrows so and um if you do want just a video on just my eyebrows um there is a video that i did um make about my eyebrows so you can go check that out i'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check out that video y'all hear those noises that is my baby in the back he has the hiccups so and then every time I mess up with my brows what I do is I go in with a makeup wipe and I clean it up I, you do not want to use rough products on your face like you do not want to use a napkin because that is too rough for your face and it will take off all that extra primer and stuff that you do have on there so in the beginning I do like to go upwards I'm sorry this is not working with me today look at that yeah guys I usually wake up like at 11 but right now it is I'm thinking 8 o'clock yeah, it is 8 30 guys and I'm not up at this time but since me and the baby are up I decided to film early since Josiah is sleeping Okay. All right. That's one eyebrow. And if it is too dark, I do have this spoolie at the end. And I could just run it through my hair to make it look more natural. And, um, sorry guys, but the brow pencil I am using is Total Temptation. And ever since I started using it, I am totally obsessed with it. I love it. This is the third pencil that I have purchased. And, yes, the price is totally, totally worth it, guys. I do love this brow pencil. If you have not tried it, go try it. They have different shades as well. Mine is, um, Deep Brown. I did get this in my influencer box. And um, guys, I'm not going to put on false eyelashes only because um, that will be like in a separate video. Because mostly like beginners, they don't put on false lashes. So they usually just use a mascara. So that's what I'm going to do just to show y'all. But if y'all do want to see an eyelash tutorial, let me know and I will put one up ASAP. 
Actually, I think I am out of eyelashes right now, or it's the glue, one of those, I can't remember. It's just not working with me today, guys, or I just haven't put on makeup in a while. Okay, again, I will go in with my makeup wipe. And if y'all know how to do the brow part already, you could just forward it to the makeup part. That's totally up to you guys. Because like I said, everybody does their brows different. A lot of y'all probably do use the gel for your brows. Because that is the most... Um, easiest way they say is to use the brow gel with the brow um, pencil or oh, it's a brush really this one is a pencil okay and whatever you did mess up on, you will go back over it with your concealer to clean it all up, which is what I am going to do now. Okay, so next what I am going to do is going to clean up my eyebrows with my concealer. And the one I use is a Match Perfection from Ramel. So, and my shade is Fair Light. So what I do is, I just outline my eyebrow. My baby has hiccups. at the top the top is totally optional okay and I can still fill my face like still primed and nice so you don't have to worry about that um, I am gonna take my small beauty blender and I'm just gonna rub all that in to make that nice line on my eyebrows. Okay. Just to give it that clean look, guys. Okay, going with the other one. And then your foundation, of course, will cover up the rest. Okay, I need to fix that part. My eyebrows are just not working with me today. Okay. Alright, next I'm going to go in with my foundation. And I use the... Um, Neutrogena Shine Control Makeup and my color is Nude 40. So this is the one that I use. I was using the 24 hour uh, Ramil one but that one ended up leaving me all red after I did take off my makeup and um, I was breaking out so I did switch and I'm absolutely loving this one. Okay next very 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 important you guys. If you use a beauty blender, like this one, wet your beauty blender. Me, I do have dry skin, so I do want my makeup nice and moist. And this is how I even out my um, foundation and I get it to blend very, very well, is by wetting and moisturizing this beauty blender right here. 
okay and if you um if you have oily skin i'm pretty sure you do not wet your beauty blender and you just go in like that because your face is already nice and oily and you don't need that extra wetness to your face so i'm pretty sure but i could be wrong i like i said i do not have oily face but i'm just trying to help you guys out if you do have oily face i want to you know incorporate my face and oily face because mine is really dry so it's not fair if you're watching my video and you don't have dry face so okay so i would recommend you wetting your beauty blender okay my beauty blender was like this small and then after i wet it it got this big so it is nice and wet right now um a lot of people do also um get setting spray or whatever and then they spray their beauty blender or whatever if you don't want to wet it okay and same with your brush if you don't use a beauty blender and you do put on your foundation with a brush like this make sure you do clean off the extra foundation that you have from the day before or from whatever time you had used it okay because it will be dry and um, nasty and it won't apply your foundation really nicely so what you do want to do is clean off your brush before you use it the next time okay around so I'm not going to use my brush I am going to use my beauty blender but you know what no I'm going to use my beauty blender on half my face and then the brush on the other half so that way you guys that use them use either one I'll be showing um, y'all how to use both because it won't be fair if you use the brush and I'm only using the beauty blender or use the beauty blender and I'm only gonna use the brush so you know I'm gonna do that for you guys I'm just gonna use both so right now what I'm doing I'm using my makeup wipe to take off the makeup that I had on this brush um, I don't feel like getting up right now but yeah it is nice and um wet too you could wet your brush or like i said you could spray it with some setting spray okay so i'm gonna apply half my makeup i'm gonna do with the beauty blender half my makeup i am going to do with the brush you guys okay i just want to make it fair for all of you so what i'm doing right now is putting some makeup on my beauty blender dog's gonna start barking because someone came okay so I'm just going to apply that on um, this side of my face like I said and guys I do love this um, beauty blender because it could it gets right under your eyes so perfectly okay guys just blend all that in My mom's all waving at me. <laughs> all right. And that's coming out really nice. Like I'm saying, like it's not my face usually has cracks in it and stuff. But it's not because my beauty blender beauty blender is a nice and wet. So it makes it look a really, really nice. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the brush. I'm just going to add some of my foundation to my brush. Um what I like best to use is the beauty blender because that's what I learned with with the brush I'm not that good at it yet um, maybe I just don't have um, a high quality brush but this one is the unicorn one and I'm pretty sure if you have a morphine brush or any of those high branded ones you're gonna you're gonna look flawless like I promise you okay this is how the side with the um, beauty blender looks it's all even out it's all very pretty I did not get enough foundation on this brush. I feel like it's sinking in my brush. That's why I do not like, really care to use brushes because I feel like it takes a lot of the product. But I could be wrong. I just probably don't know how to do it. I'm just making a mess over here. Okay. Just going to apply that on this side of the face. Okay. 
Now I'm going to blend all that out. Be very careful with this because you don't want to mess up your eyebrows. I do really love this foundation guys um, the other day I did have a pimple and um, I was going out with my boyfriend and I wanted to um, really go crazy with my makeup and I did and I was like this pimple is no help but with this foundation it covered it up completely so yeah I love this foundation guys I haven't had no trouble with it since. And the only thing about using a brush is that you, you um, no, well, depending on what brush you use, guys, um, you could have a lot of, um, like, some of the little bristles and stuff come off. Okay, see, like me, I can't get under my eye very, um, very well with this. I don't know if you guys can see, but... With me, a brush doesn't do so good. Um, this side is real smooth out and nice. And this one is a bit, um, like, cakey around here and my lips. So, and around my eye, I couldn't get it out. So, what I'm going to do is just go in my beauty blender and fix that on my eye. So, it won't be so chalky. Yeah. And then blend it around my nose because, like I said, that is where my dry area is. And um, that brush was not doing it for me. But everybody's different. I just wanted to show you guys how to apply it with both. Because I wanted to make it fair. Okay. Now that I did all that. Um, next I am going to go in with my concealer underneath my eyes. That is for your bags. And then... Um, lighting wherever you want that lighting glow at so like um a lot of people do put it on their nose and they do put it right here and they put it under their eyes or right here okay so that's what i'm gonna do basically wherever you like the light to hit and um you want that light glow so you do go in with a lighter tone of your um, foundation okay don't use the same um tone because it takes away the purpose you do want that light color because this is for lighting. All right, I'm just going to blend all that. And I love this beauty blender so much because it's so easy to get under the eye with um, this part. Like It's just so easy. It makes everything. Because um, the other beauty blenders are really like this and it's kind of difficult to get under there. I mean, if you ain't got one of these, you're going to have to deal with the beauty blender that's just like this. So, of course, you're going to make it work. I'm just going to blend all that out. Alright, hopefully my lighting is good for you guys. Okay, well I'm loving it right now. So, um, I don't know if it's just because I'm in front of the camera and I'm trying to do really, really good. Or today is just my day because 
it looks great. Okay, I'm going to close up my foundation right now. Clean it up a little bit because I did make a mess on it. Okay. Next, I am going to go in with my under eye setting powder from e.l.f. It's this small. You, this is optional guys you do not have to use it but the setting powder let me explain to you what the setting powder is okay I have this one for underneath your eyes then I have this other um oof sorry um other setting um powder for my face and basically what this does guys is sets your makeup all together and sits it nicely on your face because um you your foundation can crack during the day or it can get real um like like me i do have dry face so you know how like i start peeling and stuff um i will get cracks around here and under here um so basically what that setting powder does it sets all your makeup so you won't get none of them cracks or nothing and it'll last all day you know you want your makeup to last and look very nice and it makes it look very smooth as well so what i'm gonna do is get this tiny beauty blender right here and I'm just gonna dab it like that in my um, elf under eye setting powder so I'm just gonna set it underneath my eye like that and I'm gonna go in on my other eye and just set that there and uh, just let it bake let it bake okay so I'm gonna sit that there for right now then I'm gonna go and find my other brush um, these two are like basically the same size so I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one and what I'm gonna do is just do not use your blue beauty blender get a brush a clean brush and what you're gonna do after it's done baking just rub it off swipe swipe the powder away just like that okay next I'm gonna go in with my setting powder my other one because this was the small one for underneath your eye I am going in with oh my goodness, my goodness, this one okay I'm gonna open it up okay it's real powdery okay um and I'm just gonna get a beauty blender again the small one and I'm just gonna dab it in there and guys do not ask me what the difference is between this powder and the other powder because I do not know I am not that advanced yet in this um, makeup part because um, I never used to do um, setting powder or contour and highlight or none of that so I really don't have that much good answers for you guys but I could look them up and answer you as best as I could but um, setting powder is a very important um, step in your makeup. Um, I did find that out after using makeup for a long, long while. And I do see the difference and I love it, guys. I do see why it is so important to use setting powder on your makeup. Okay, so again, let that bake. I know I look creepy right now, but girl, let that bake, okay? You gotta let it bake. Let it sit all in your foundation. Again, we are going to take this brush and we're going to sweep it away. Okay, you can take this one or you can take a larger brush, which is like this one. Because um, it is a fuller face and this one was just for underneath the eye. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one and brush away all my um, powder, okay? Alright, there you go. Okay, so next 
is your um, contour and highlight. You guys are probably wondering, why didn't you do your eyeshadow before your foundation? Um, today, I am not really um, doing anything or going anywhere, so I'm not going to do my eyeshadow. You guys all know how to do eyeshadow. So, that is something that I did not need to incorporate and waste all this time in. So, I just decided not to do that. And waste y'all's time so pretty sure you guys know how to do all that blending and color and all that okay so if you don't have a contour and highlight palette I suggest you get one if you like this step in your makeup I never used to I never knew how to do it but I learned I'm not the best so if you do yours different I am sorry you go ahead and do it your way you do not have to follow the way I do mine because everyone is different but don't leave no negativity down in the comments below okay because I will delete it I'm all about positive so yeah I have had some negativity before saying I don't know how to do this and don't know how to do that. But I am human. I'm not perfect and everybody is different. But if you do love watching me, thank you. Okay, so I am going in with my contour and highlight palette. And, okay. I have kids, okay. And sometimes they get a hold of my makeup. So my son got a hold of mine. And there's nail dashes all in there, if you can see that. Yeah, he dug his nail all up in there. It's alright though, we're going to get through this. Okay, so, mind all that, just to dust that off. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with, again, this small beauty blender. But I'm going to dust it off because it had some of that setting powder on there, okay? So I'm going to take this one. And I think I'm going to go with the color, because there's contour 1, contour 2, contour 3. I think I'm going to go in with contour 2, right here. And let me show you how to put that on. Okay, my mom is coming, so I'm going to have to um, pause this video. Like, Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to go to coffee. And breakfast with my mom so I gotta hurry up but uh, um, Cassie Salas Brandy y'all know I gotta hurry up because my mom be on me so I know this video is for y'all but my mom be on me okay so I gotta, I gotta hurry up all right so again I am taking this contour too okay and I'm just gonna um, put that nicely on my um, beauty blender and people do use cream contour or you know the powder one um, I never used cream before but what you're gonna do is put your lips like this or like that I don't even know like like that or or I don't even know I don't no I don't think you do that I never seen no one do that I don't know but you got to make that indention in your lips so you know what I'm talking about okay there you go I got it you just brush that on it just like that I'm gonna do the other side I got it see I got I don't know why I was doing all them other weird things just put it on just like that so you're gonna have something there and you're gonna have something there then you're gonna put it around yo forehead like that and don't worry guys you're gonna blend all this out so you're gonna go out looking like this i promise you that okay and then i'm gonna take the skinny little part little tip i'm gonna put some on the tip and i'm just gonna go right down like that on both sides you know Okay, next I'm going to blend, 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 blend. Okay, I hope you can see it with the lighting, guys. I really hope you can. Hopefully my little contour palette not in the way because I am using the mirror to it. Okay, 
Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. Oopsie. Okay. Then I'm going to blend up here. And um, you could wet this. I think mine is a little too dry, so I'm going to spray mine. Yep, you don't gotta make it all wet, but I do need mine a little bit moist so it can work with me here, cause it wasn't working. Okay. And like before guys, I don't really know, like this just gives you that look I don't know how to explain it because, um, like I said, I'm not a big advanced with this type of makeup. I basically usually just did um, just my foundation and stuff. I never did all these extra things like that. Okay, so um, next for the highlight, I'm going to take probably this middle shade as well. Okay, and what I'm going to do is apply that underneath this, just like that. I'm just going to put it there, put this one this way, just sharpen it out. Again, I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender. Okay, next, I did not get it, but I'm going to get it right now, because I didn't, but I got it now. Okay, next, out of this palette, I do have my bronzers and my, um, have my, br my bronzers and my, um, dang it, why can't I say it? Oh, my blush. My blush. Okay, so I'm going to get some colored bronzer and I'm going to just get both browns that I do have here in my palette and I'm just gonna give it that look that darker look okay just like that okay take both colors again dust off my brush Alrighty. Again. Hold well, on, guys. This up here is just not working with me on my forehead. I did not uh, blend it very well. Alright. Now you can take a little bit of that bronzer and you're just going to dust it on there, too. Okay. Go ahead, dust it on there. Next, what I will be doing is my blush so i'm thinking the colors i'm gonna use for blush is probably this one right here a natural color for all shades of people so this one will work for any of you guys okay i didn't want to go with that bright pink because that does not go with everybody it's that barbie color okay i'm just gonna brush that on there just like that. Alright guys, next. Okay, I hope you guys are liking the way this is looking right now. Next. Woo, what I'm going to go in with is some highlight. Yes. Some highlight I normally have a highlight brush guys and uh, I lost it yeah let me make it clear my son lost it I didn't lose it I never lose it my son lose lost it lost it lost it I don't know what lost it I don't even know if that's a that's a word lost it he lost it okay he's he's always in my makeup box always 
Okay, I'm going in with my Revolution. Guys, this highlight is popping. Like, popping, okay? Um, Revolution Makeup London Skin Kiss. This is my number one highlight right now. Okay, and I am in love with it. Y'all gotta get it. Like, it's so, so, so beautiful. See, so beautiful. Yes, okay. And it has like that seashell looking type design in the middle. See that? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Okay, highlight is my favorite part because um, I'm the kind of girl that would go out with wow colors, wow things. Like, um, I will walk out of here with neon colors on my eyes and some neon highlight like I just don't care you know I love that look so this highlight um, since it's so poppin I love to use it everywhere and basically what people use it is above their cheekbones or right here like that okay some people also put it on their nose and then they do this little shiny tip for the tip of the nose then they bucker up their lips I cannot talk today. It's not bucker up your lips. It's pucker up your lips. I don't even know if bucker is a f word. But just, you know, that little tip right there. I will show you in a minute. And some people do it over here and over here. And they just get carried away with it. I'm going to get carried away with it. Okay? And I'm just going to show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm just going to apply some. I'm going to apply a lot. Okay. And I'm just going to put it above my cheekbone. Just like that. I don't know if you guys can see it because my lighting is poor. Just gonna add some more. Yes. Oh, girl. I'm gonna have to go somewhere. I know I'm going to eat, but no. No. I need to go to Walmart. I need to go to Walmart like this. That highlight is beautiful. Okay. Now, I'm telling you, I love this highlight. Okay. Yes. My mom's going to be like, what's all that shiny stuff on your face? See it, girls? That is some popping highlight. And that's what you want. Like, you want to just turn this way and be like, yes, you see me? You see me? Yeah, that's what you want. Okay? So, I don't go extreme like that on my nose. No, I don't. But on the tip, yes, I like the little cute look. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to put some over here. Over here. Yeah. And also what I do is I do put some in my inner eye. with Usually with the smaller brush. But I already got this one all glowy. So might as well use this one. Yep, just like that. Guys, that highlight is just wow. Okay, next. Next, what we are going to do, guys, is our eyeliner. Okay. I'm going to just do a quick wing for you guys. I'm not perfect at it, but I'm going to do it anyways because that's how I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out with the wing. So, I'm going to go out with the wing instead of go out with the bang. Okay, what I meant was I'm going to go out today and I'm going to use the wing effect look. So I'm going to do the wing right now. And you guys can do anything you want to your eyes. The wing is not easy. I promise you that. One eye always comes out different than the other. So please do not follow me on this one. Because I am not perfect at it. And I'm being honest. There I go. There is my wing. Yes, girl. That is nice. That 
That is nice. I'm telling you, it's because I'm on camera. But the other one's not going to come out as good. I promise you that. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do it anyways. Hold on. I want to get some right underneath my lash line. Cause that water line. Okay, when you don't get it, it looks a little bit off. Yeah, so go in. Oh, yes, girl. You did good today. Alright. Oh my god, guys. I'm going to have to start doing this on camera. If my eyeliner is going to come out like this all the time, I'm going to have to act like I'm recording. guys I believe I did pretty good okay next I'm gonna go in with some mascara I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Troublemaker and this one is so oh man okay that was a fail yeah that one's like a real troublemaker guys pops out of nowhere like that okay that's like all over me now all right, well, since I'm in a rush, I'm just going to hurry up and just ignore all that mess and just get up in there. And it's so little. It's a little travel one, but I don't care. I love it. Okay. And hopefully I don't mess up because usually I get it on my eyelid and stuff. But good thing I don't have no uh, eyeshadow because I would have messed it up using this. And usually I use eyelashes, but for you guys, I'm going to use mascara because I'm pretty sure it's what you guys all use. But again, who am I to know? And if you do want to see a video on eyelashes, leave it in the comment section below. I promise you I will get a video out on that. Promise you, promise you. Alright. I don't have an eyelash curler. I do not own one. Like I said, I'm more of a ball slashy. Apply some to the bottom. Oh, my little honey is waking up. Well, good thing I finished this video. Okay, how are you guys liking it? Mmm, I'm digging that highlight though. Okay, <sighs> next you would do your your lips however you do it. Um, I'm not a big lip person because I do have dry lips and everything I try to put on does leave it cracky and ugly looking. But my personal favorite is lip gloss. It hides all the cracks. But I am going to go in with my Ultra Beauty Lip Liner. Just outline my lip for some color. Just like that. Next, I'm going to just apply that gloss on top. This isn't no name brand gloss. This is just a drugstore um gloss so but it's still very gorgeous and I love it okay guys well there is my makeup look for beginners um I know it did take a while I did try doing step by step for you guys and I hope you guys all enjoy it I love you guys and I will see you guys all next time